I will, just all over the country really. There's been some really great films. Yes. People have been going to the movies, but did you know, in just about two weeks, in Rehoboth Beach, you can see some of the greatest movies that you maybe didn't catch in theaters. Yeah. <laughs> this is really exciting. So to talk a little bit more about it, we have Helen Chamberlain talking about the Rehoboth Beach Independent Film Festival. Thanks for coming today. Thanks for having me, ladies. Of course. Mm -hmm. I guess first, just tell us a little bit about the mm -hmm. Independent Film Festival. Yeah. What can viewers expect when they go to check it out? Sure. So the first thing is we're celebrating our 25th silver screen anniversary. Yay! Nice. So this festival has been around for 25 years. Wow. Yes, and um, what they can expect this year, there's a couple things going on. Besides the fact that we have 23 film titles that we're screening over five days, there are several great opportunities for film festival goers this year. The talent that's included this year includes folks like Art and Pep, which is a documentary about Art and Pep. We have Call Me Dancer, which is basically a Billy Elliot meets Slumdog Millionaire, Ooh. the journey of a dancer who was kind enough to uh, to uh, make arrangements to come and be here with us. Other film titles uh, that we have in place, we will also have uh, the Johnny Versace story, Alive, is really an opportunity to take a closer look at his life mm -hmm. and his contribution, given that he's been, he passed several years ago. Yeah. Uh, one of the 11th hour films we just added was literally uh, last week, Twitty and Lynn together again. And if you don't know, this story is about the granddaughter of Loretta Lynn and the grandson of Conway Twitty, both musical legends. Oh um, so their two grandchildren are moving their legacy forward and singing their songs. And they recently broke out and made it to the Grand Old Opry, oh. which is a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> so they're coming in and they're going to be part of the post uh, Q&A, mm -hmm. and then they're going to do an acoustic performance with us. Um, we have some great parties, after parties. If you own it, if you have a ticket, um, for instance, for Bottle Condition, which features our rock stars, local rock stars, um, Sam and Mariah Calagione mm -hmm. of uh, Dogfish Brewery. Mm -hmm. They're hosting uh, that screening, Bottle Condition, which really features the top three blenders that uh, create Limbic beers. Oh, oh that's interesting. Yes. Yeah. And Dogfish was so kind to create a f special film festival beer for us. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's called Goit's <laughs> Story. And ah. it's, it's in the it's in the uh, tradition of Alembic beer. Okay. So they're going to be there Thursday night. We're going to screen bottled condition. Then we're going to have a dogfish party. Mm -hmm. So if you have a ticket to that screening, you get into the after party wow. uh, and tasting room as well. So awesome. I love that local aspect. Yes. To it. Yeah. I gotta love the local, local tie-in. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I think it's incredible too that you have these, like you said, filmmakers and and artists coming in. Mm -hmm. What does that add to the audience experience? To not just watch something on a screen, but have these people in person with them. Uh, Absolutely excellent point. Mm -hmm. So the, the great thing about film, especially when you get into the cinema art realm, mm -hmm. you know, we're featuring uh, filmmakers who aren't going to come out through a Hollywood blockbuster. Mm -hmm. So the great thing about uh, cinema art is that we bring these, these people in that are trying to get distribution for their films. Um, it has a very local flair, but the great news is that it creates that experiential experience mm -hmm or interactive experience for the patron because it's not just a one way, you know, watching somebody on the silver screen, but then it's it's a deeper dive with the actual people involved, yeah. you know, with the film. Well, people I'm sure are getting excited. Can you just let them know where they can get tickets and, mm -hmm. and see the full list of movies? Absolutely. So we have several uh, sold out shows. We're up to, I think, six. Mm. So we just added 20 more tickets to Joan Baez. Um, I Am Noise, mm -hmm. which you may not know who Joan Baez is, but if you're from the baby boomer generation, <laughs> you do. Um, so you want to go to RehobothFilm.com, and you'll see the Rehoboth Beach Independent Film Festival page, and then, of course, all the film titles and details on how to purchase tickets. All right. All that fun kicks off November 8th. Don't forget, mm -hmm. runs through the 12th. We're looking forward to it. Yeah. Thanks again. Of course. Thank you. Okay, you can do that right now. Head to their website. Check out what films you're going to see, because we're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be right back.